Known some as William, known some as Willie, uh, but simply good old Will to me. And of course his beautiful bride, Emily Jane, of course. Uh, on behalf of everyone here tonight, I'd like to say how absolutely stunning the bridesmaids look. Thank you, Cameron. And of course, uh, not forgetting the mother of the bride, Denise. Where are Denise? Where are Denise? Oh, Brilliant. Fabulous. Uh, oh, and not forgetting the, the mother of the green man. How gorgeous she looks tonight. Thank you. Obviously, you better not forget my own mum, Sue. No, Thank you, Sue. It's Mother's Day next Sunday. Brownie points. Right. <clears throat> um, I've known Will since I was 13, um, some 16 years ago now. Uh, back then, he was probably the last person uh, I'd ever think that he'd get married before me. But, um, but hey, um, I'm quite sure he'd have asked Emily to marry him a lot sooner if, if it wouldn't have been him dreading the speech so much. But he's done a great job, hasn't he? Yeah. 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 I'm sure you agree with me? Yeah. Definitely. Now, just check the time. I need to get something off my chest. I really felt I let a whale down with a stag do. I know it should be talked about and what goes on tour stays on tour, but it really wasn't my fault. You look nervous. For those of you who weren't on the stag night, I had pre books and men's entertainment. And uh, her name was Gloria, she was 46, from the Lazales in Birmingham, 46 stone. <laughs> Not in age, as she is known in the trade as a roly poly. Oh. But unfortunately, she didn't turn, turn up on the night, and uh, I lost my money. Oh. <laughs> I, to be honest, I think she was probably. <laughs> but to be honest, I think she was at KFC stuff in her face. But uh, uh, however, anyway. but thanks to the wonders of the internet, I've been able to track her down no. to make sure she got what she owes me. Okay, we're ready? So tonight, no. for one night only, no. please put your hands together for a lady with a big personality, all the way from Les Isles in Birmingham, it's Gloria! No. Come off here! As if, oh, yeah. as if I would. <laughs> only, to be honest, she's fully booked tonight, but, um, <laughs> but I did actually speak to her earlier this week to find out what happened on the stag night. Play the audio, Ian. Hello? Hello, is that Gloria? Yes, Gloria. How you doing? It's, uh, my name's Adam Golder. Um, I don't know if you remember me, but I booked you for uh, my best uh, mate Stag Do a few weeks back. Um, I'm okay. Problem is, uh, love, you didn't turn up, and uh, I've heard from you since, and uh, it's nice I want my money back. <laughs> Because you, you didn't turn up, you know, we had, we had 15, 20 lads all ready to see you, really excited, all nice, and you, you didn't turn up. Now, if I, I say, what well, I say goes, right, you give me money, you can't have a refund, did you see the small print? <laughs> there, wasn't any, there wasn't any small print, I booked you on your website. But I'll tell you small what, print on there? I'll tell you what, listen, it's my mate's wedding this Friday uh, in Leamington Spa. As a favour, would you be able to turn up on the night? You're joking, you're joking. Oh, what? Okay, well, how about, um, just so we're even, you, we could uh, do like a private little showing around mine? How does that sound? you got chicken. I've got chicken. I'll, I'll call you back. Brilliant. Right, oh, well. I tried, I tried. I'm sorry, Will. I'm sorry. Well, Gloria missed a brilliant buffet tonight, didn't she? Oh, very nice. Sorry. Family friendly. Anyway, back in the day, Will and I used to go out every night when we had time off from the band, Fool's Goals. Look them up. If they're, are they still going? Still going, brilliant. <laughs> Wednesday was Stoody Bakers, which if you don't know was a cool bar on Broad Street. Thursday would be Stoody Bakers and <laughs> Broad Street. Friday... 
Studebakers, Saturday Studies, Sunday, you guys do Studebakers. Now, always being the slightly, compared to Will, fatter friend, um, I always had to work a lot harder than Will to attract the ladies. I know, it's hard to believe, but it's, it's Will. I know. Um, although, if I was ever stuck with conversation, I always had, always had something on my sleeve. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but Will, or William, used to be in the Birmingham Royal Ballet when he was younger. I'll pass this round. But here, I don't know if you can see this. And this is Will in his, uh, his lycra, lycra uh, tights. His vest. Beautiful, beautiful. That's Will. How old were you, Will? Come back. Nice hands and deck, what? How old were you, Will? Oh. Old enough to be in the ballet, brilliant. Oh. I'm in it. Brilliant. It'll come round and we'll bring the picture around. You can see it. It'll be on it's on the, it's on Facebook as well. You can see uh, Adam, Adam Golder Facebook. Oh, beautiful. But the, to be honest, this I think this explains why Will is so particular about things. But um <laughs> But the girls used to love this. Uh, I even get him to do a plie, which he can still do, by the way. I think, I think he's going to do it later on the dance floor if you ask him nicely. nicely. And nine times ten, that'll do the trick with the ladies. <laughs> get the room in, Will. Thanks. Probably going to need it after this speech. Uh, but to be honest, I'd like to raise a quick toast to the Birmingham Royal Ballet for helping me out with so many ladies over the years when I uh, you know, couldn't succeed myself. So, to the Birmingham Royal Ballet, thanks. Oh, oh. Didn't you know that, Emily? I knew that. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> well, as you can see, Will has definitely landed on his feet now with such a beautiful bride and adorable wife, Emily Jane Miller. Yes. Yeah. As you already heard, Will first met Emily by chance at his nightclub where he works now. Uh, actually, three years prior to them getting together. And it was actually the bridesmaid Victoria's birthday at the time, and they're out celebrating in the, in the club by chance. So uh, thank you for Vicky. Otherwise, they probably wouldn't have met tonight. So Ooh. thank you. I forgot I got this. Done. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, for three long years, all Will went on about was how amazing this girl he met was. And uh, I mean, I'd never met her. But now, now as you as you may know, Will was very particular what he likes especially when it comes to a woman, more than the average man. And uh, from the start of the hair, the shape of the back and how it arches, you know, the arch thing, I don't, yeah. It's the posture, the hands, the feet, probably the things that normal people don't really pay attention to. It's, it's true. But, however, Emily did tick every box, I must say. I was so frustrated that Will wouldn't try and get in contact with Emily over the three years. I was planning to book a hair appointment in the salon myself to try and find out if actually Will, uh, if she remembered Will and uh, actually liked him. However, I'm pleased to say that Will eventually found the courage to call her and they met up here in Leamington once in the afternoon, the Sunday, the 5th of June 2005, to be exact. But they weren't together long that day as Emily had another day to that night. As she was a woman in demand and still is. <laughs> Shortly after that, they started seeing more and more of each other, and before you knew it, they were inseparable and were the end of love. Another go, Ian? Well, you've got to have Ian's seal of approval, darling. But here we are today. It gives me great pleasure to ask you to raise your glasses and toast the newlyweds. Very early. It gives me great, great pleasure to ask you to raise your glasses and toast the newlyweds and my best friends, Mr. and Mrs. Miller. Cheers. And there we are, that's it.
Skate.